Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It's I again, Game Freak DX, and I am going to tackle the Rogue Cup now. And Valley was only six seconds faster than me. Oh well, I actually don't know who's faster, me or well, better at the game, basically. Uh, me or him? Actually, um, not long after my previous recording, I realised uh, that I wasn't actually recording the game footage. So, fortunately, I didn't actually complete the cup. Otherwise, I'd be really angry about that. Let's see. I was going to choose Joe Musashi with Road Cup again, and let me think. Let's choose Standard. All right. I haven't unlocked every mod for him, so that's something right. We also get like console mods and sort of like those sort of mods uh, as you get through World Tour mode. Honestly, I think most of them aren't that good. I think one stat's too dominant over another most of the time. Also, um, I don't think I've already mentioned this before about the cups, but the, the type the the name of the cup, for example, this one's the Rogue Cup. The final track in that cup is going to be based around that uh, that cup's name, if that makes any sense. I'm not sure if I word that right. Like last time was Dragon Cup, the last track was based around that game. I thought I did a trick, but obviously nothing happened. Slow down again. <laughs> the only reason why I realised quickly last recording sessions because, well, <laughs> there was no slowdown. <laughs> so slowdown tells me if I'm actually slowing down. I actually, uh, you know, in, in the previous All Stars Racing, I, I do remember like these sort of stages. That these, those stages in All Stars Racing, the original, was such a oh, fuck you, was such a pain because I, because I, I always find that um, th this stage has loads of turns, like really, really sharp turns, and I kept hitting walls left and right. What the hell? <laughs> and okay, oh god damn it, I missed. <laughs> And but this this one's uh, this 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 is the only Super Monkey Ball um, only Super Monkey Ball track in the entire game, and I I think it's pretty good. There's not too many like really sharp turns, so that's really forgiving. I don't remember that booster at the beginning of that lap being there as well either. Uh, one thing I didn't mention about music in the last part uh, is oh crap, <laughs> is oh crap. Yeah, of course. Uh, is that um, for most of the tracks anyway? Is that um, it, how do I word it? Is it they, they transit. The music transits from one game to another. Well, for the same franchise. It's a bit like PlayStation All Stars, except um, their stages transition um, aren't from the same franchise. Um, I only know this through SGB's um, Smackdown Sun. Oh, come on! Okay, well, if I wanted to um, go through the swarm uh, item a bit, I could say it's a bit of, it's, it's pretty much the blue shell of the game, although it can affect other people. Just like the blue shell, what am I talking about? Because <laughs> the blue shell had an explosion. Which I have to say about the blue shell, I swear in Mario Kart 7 it looks overpowered. It's like, it's 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 got the. Um, it's got Mario Kart 64's um, sort of effect, and it's also got the modern Blue Shot effect where it explodes on impact. Overkill much, right? I actually don't know which route's faster. I guess this one's considered faster because it's Brewster's here and, you know, there's there's no guardrails. Okay, this is a harder pass to dodge. Oof. I'm actually slowing down here. Every time, I always end up going to the middle section, but, you know. You know, honestly, um, if you want to get the best, <laughs> I'll just, okay, quote best anyway, because um, I had my share problems on the Wi-Fi mode. But uh, okay, 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 okay. If you want a real challenge, play people online. Uh, so they don't. I don't. I haven't came across anyone who cheated, uh, but I have came across a load of glitches. Though one of the main ones I've come across is more of a Wi-Fi glitch. Basically, it's uh, this happened twice, but once in the beginning of a stage. Um, before it, before it even started, um, like what what basically happened was is that um, someone's internet, I guess, was horrendous and knocked some of us back. Uh, I recall one in Rogue's Landing, and in the beginning, this this one player just knocked me back really far before it even went to go. And uh, unfortunately, I wasn't the only one who got knocked back, but I was the one who sent the furthest back from my screen anyway, because for all I know, the the opponents could have got sent back really far as well. But I think I ended up coming about. I think I. I don't think I came last, but I think I came very close to last. Lost quite a lot of ranking points. Why did I just do that in the first place? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Anyway, 
Next one's Galactic Parade from Sonic Colors. I don't know. One of the stages that doesn't have music transitions, I believe, anyway. <laughs> yeah, whatever, I'll just use something. And strawberries. Pac Man shall be proud. Nitro. Oh, right, well, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Uh, in terms of Joe Musashi, I, I swear that his his costume looks can look very odd at times. Like, I swear, like like right now, I, I, he's supposed to be like white. He's got white overalls with like red sort of things on, on, on him. I don't know. And some, sometimes it kind of looks like it kind it looks really odd. Sometimes in the sort of dark environments, he has uh, um, it's well. With sort of dark environment. Uh, what the hell? I fell. <sighs> anyway, as I was trying to say, in the dark environment, uh, his his clothes become greyer looking, and his um, his shoulder plates become too shiny. In fact, they look more pink than red. I don't want to hit that. I never played. Uh, never mind. I, ne I never played um, Pit Space on Five or Crazy Taxi or what. I, I think I I don't really know much about um, Space Channel Five, but I did a bit of research on Crazy Taxi and uh, it's I don't know I, I don't I haven't really played it so I can't really say it. I know I've seen the gameplay either I just know what the game is like what what it's, what it's supposed to do the objective I've seen a sort of game like that before on, on mini clip but it's this is not mini clip this is Sega so all right. This is one of the few stages that, uh, we're not one of the few, I don't know, I haven't counted exactly. Uh, one of the stages that uh, every lap is going to change. Ooh, Lion. Simba. Uh, it, it's, the change is not so noticeable yet, but it will be. God damn it. I didn't mention about these tokens. Uh, basically, uh, you, you've seen the slot machine. Collect the tokens to build a slot machine. You need five tokens for... Uh, you need five tokens for each um, slot. Ah, god damn it! That wasn't blocked. <laughs> uh, I, I, in the previous part, when during the static, when during the recording, it's a bit unfortunately. Uh, okay. God damn it! I'm trying to, I'm trying to do a risk cruise. I tried doing a risk cruise in, um, in Dragon Canyon last, last recording, but it, it completely failed. <laughs> no matter what I did. But we have one more flight section to come by after in a third lap. I actually like the it like this game has like set pieces or something like that. It's kinda of like Sonic Generations kind of. I'm sure other games have done that as well actually. Um oh that's really cool. But hmm. that's really cool. I need to, I've yet to play Sonic Colors. Anyway, as I was saying about the stage themselves, sometimes they um like, you know, the Sonic Colors here has this, uh, this row that um, comes out, and they have these two guys right in front of me right now, not drawing these two guys, and they shoot at you. They're pretty much obstacles for the first player. Uh, some some stages had sort of first player sort of thing, like they had to decide, or something happens with only them. Riala. I never know, I knew how to pronounce that. I also swear that you get some kind of boost every time you, oh, screw you, you get some kind of boost. In the when you start when you begin a transformation, like I go from like slow to like burst. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm not gonna bother with the thing anymore. Oops. I accidentally go to acceleration process for a minute. Uh, I find this stage is the, one of the best stages uh, for me to grind for tokens. You can only get up to 99, 99, and every time you use a slot machine, you have to pay five tokens. I remember one time during Wi-Fi where, I, where it was third lap, I got past the finish line and it didn't register so I came last. And it counted that I did not finish. I was like, what? <laughs> I don't know what happened, but yeah. Third stage is gonna be... Half-time after that. I'm getting close to leveling up. Seasonal Shrines, uh, the home of Joe Musashi. I know Shogun is a Japanese sort of character, but I'm not sure about Joe Musashi. I'm going to assume Japanese as well, since I I, I guess that Japanese is more popular than Chinese, I don't know. I'm not offended by this, by the way. Okay, waiting, loading, loading, loading. 
All right. It's also one of my favorite stages. To it's not because it has the Asian feel to me, but also I, I just like I just like the stage itself. This slowdown actually makes me makes me paranoid if I'm going to miss anything. Uh, miss, miss a boost. You you don't actually get a slowdown like like you do in Mario Kart game. Well, what happened? You, you don't get any slowdown like in Mario Kart games if you if you hold it for like too long. Uh, what happens is if you fail it, then it just doesn't work altogether. I, I also find your acceleration in this game is quite slow. So if you like slow down to a complete halt, you're gonna take a while to actually get to full speed. Well, it's probably just me actually because I'm used to going so fast in this game. And when I go when I go like normal speed, it's it's, it's jarring to me. I also love this remix. I, I don't. I need to listen to the original though. I listen to some of the originals of the original um, uh, games. Uh, some some of them are still really good to this day. I just prefer it's the remix that in this game from from the compared to the original ones. I the ones I've had anyway. Uh, they're really good. There's a shortcut to the well, quite shortcut to the left. I should say right. But the problem is I always get hit by um, I should say skeletons from there. I don't know what they are. So I'm guessing scarecrows. I know Dark Spine Sonic does have the PC version of this game. I just uh, I don't I, I really wonder how many people can beat him easily on that. I only have four achievements left out of the fifty that uh, that are in this game, but uh, I'm trying. I can't really get two of them. I'm trying to get another two of them out of the four left, and I don't know how to. It's the time attack one and the uh, god damn it, and uh, what is it? I can't remember. <laughs> I hit something with that. <laughs> what? Oh well. We. Okay. Why do I do that? Uh, one thing I should also talk about the, from the stunts moves. <laughs> sorry, is that um, you, you don't button mash the flip button because if you do, then it'll, it'll count as um, kind of like a failure. You'll know by the counter going like I don't know, like, just send, just doing like a, a failure sort of sound like ah oh, no <laughs> or something like someone knows I don't, I don't know <laughs> sorry um, like if if I tap it like really fast like just like no intermediate time pretty much then it'll it the the boost will be cancelled and it'll only be uh, registered again after uh, another successful turn so say I um, I say I flip two times perfectly but then I uh, the third button was too fast then it'll cancel out but after I do another one then it'll come back to me. The third one, I believe. I can't remember. I'm going to assume the third boost. Like I said before, you can only uh, have up to three boosts. I don't know if I haven't come across any other items yet I haven't talked about. I'm sure. Well, the hot rod uh, it's pretty much a burst of speed. And after a while, you have to press the item button again to do an explosion. If you don't, then you slow down drastically. So it's. So it would be beneficial anyway because you know you have to do an explosion. You can do it at any point. I let me think of an item. <laughs> I wrote about all stars now. What difference? Oh well, we only got one track left. We. For some reason, it feels like this is going faster than my previous um, level up. So yeah, at least I got shot for level up. <laughs> unless, of unless of course this recording session goes badly and I had to do it all over again. God damn it! <laughs> Rogue's Landing from Skies of Arcadia. It's quite funny actually because you know Seiko obviously remembers these franchises, but the, the thing is, is that you know why they why they left out just for these sort of games. I mean, like there's Rystar. In this game, he's just a flag man. He doesn't even he doesn't even have his own stage in this game. Spoilers, <laughs> not, not really spoilers, but he doesn't even have his own stage in this game. He needs his own game again. He's only ever had well technically two games. Three, two, one. Uh, this is actually one of the songs I'm going to remix, but unfortunately there's no MIDI file. But this this shouldn't be too hard, but it, it, it partly is. Uh, God damn it. So the so this theme is Pfizer's theme. You're not gonna throw a drone at you. 
advice. <laughs> so as far as I'm aware, Class of Arcadia is a but nice work, um, Sega, with that graphic. So, so Files and West Skies of Arcadia is an RPG series, and there's only one game. And there's actually technically two, but one's a re release. I think I can do a risk boost here. Risk boost. There we go. <laughs> uh, the I plan to do for this one is, is, is actually a mashup with another song. <laughs> a pony song, I'm sorry. Ugh. Oh god damn it! Oh, okay. Uh, there, there's a left route, and the second lap of the left route uh, in this, I can never really like. I, c I can never um, get across it, and I always fail. I'm like, okay, but well, I thought the uh, uh, the I was saying narrator, the, the announcer was going to say first place, but it said first class. Way to go. <laughs> Oh well. Uh, this is also a stage that changes every single lap. N not as it's not as uh, like noticeable. It's kind of well, you, you saw the explosion there, <laughs> so that's something. Okay, I guess there's more when I think about it. I always take this route because I, I'm always safer up here. When I think BD Joe in Twisted Taxi, I don't think Rock. I, I'm sorry, I just don't. Actually, uh. In the options, you can actually choose. Um, in the options, you can choose um, if you. This is more for beginners. If you, you can choose if you want to um, have like this. It's, it's basically a green line. I don't know what it's actually called. It's basically, a green line, basically giving you a general direction of where you had to, where, where you had to go. And you can't do a. You can't. Okay. And uh, you have to take that particular route. You can't take any shortcuts in midair, assuming there are any. This should be quite a lot. Ah, it's a flight form now. It's only for—it's more for beginners. I used it before, and I found out that I could get rid of it. Is that a black hole down there? Can't tell. Is that she? <laughs> Sounds like brawl. <laughs> I believe that a uh, blue ship that is, that is in front of us is actually Visor's ship. I, I'm not entirely sure. Ooh, I'm firing my laser. That won't hurt you. By the time you get there, it's just going to go away. Unless, of course, you can actually go fast enough to actually... Well... Getting close to the end. So many houses being blown up. You know, when I, when I first heard about the Blue Rogue stuff, I actually, I actually assumed that... Um, the, ah, that the villains is going to be Red Rogues. It's not. I can't remember the name, but it's it's like another separate. Sky pirates. That's interesting. Say <laughs> interessant. So yeah, flight forms are di most different compared to the rest. And why is everyone so slow? In expert mode too. What the hell? Oh well. At least it makes for good LP. <laughs> I'm gonna skip that. All right, 2045 year when we can I don't know. Oh. Um, okay, so I was, I was looking at the audio recording for a moment there. I'm not going to show you that um, whole celebration thing again because that's, that's just boring. Uh, I'm waiting. Okay, there we go. Well, anyway, so... Next week on Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing Transform No Sega in that uh, is going to be Emerald Cup, which has the worst stage on my computer. Oh well. See you next time then.